Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Nantucket. This is a seafaring strategy game set in the uh, early 19th century along with all the whaling sort of stuff. Clipper ships, whaling things, that, that kind of a, a setting. We're going to be building our own ship, having our own ship, equipping it out, hiring a crew, and going out and getting us some whales. This game, it, 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 it's set in like the same storyline as, as Moby Dick. In fact, the, the tutorial takes you through... A bit of a story where you are actually a member of Ahab's crew. And, uh, well, this actually, the, the proper game takes place two years after that. And uh, we have a captain. We're captain of a ship ourselves. And it's it's kind of a management sort of thing where we have to go and, and recruit folks and, and go out sailing, finding finding loot, finding some whale oil, whale blubber, and, and going and selling the stuff and making some money in order to get better ships, better crew, to eventually get to the point where we can actually go and take out Moby Dick ourselves. And that is the plan today. It's been developed by Picaresque Studio. It is not actually out yet. It is set to be released on January 18th, so we have an early look here to try this one out and see what it's all about. Let's go ahead and jump on in here. So first off, we have to make our captain. And uh, instead of being, being Ishmael, this is, I guess, a t it, the story of Ishmael, like the, the narrator of, of Moby Dick. Well, we are uh, going to be someone different. We'll be, we'll be uh, I don't know, Ishnook. Captain of our very own sloop. What kind of captain are we? Are we a good hunting captain? Do we, uh, we, like, we go out and we get the whales? Are we a sailor? Are we a science guy for, like, learning how to do things, how to add things onto our ship? Or are we a craftsman fixing things and, and the practical errand man of the ship? We're going to be a hunter. We'll be out there on the boats taking out some whales. And we get to use a, choose a trait. Every character you get, every crewman that you bring on board has traits that will help or hurt your, uh, your your goals here. We can be smart. We can be strong. We can be an old sea dog, which gives us extra HP during navigation. We can be healthy, or we can be open-minded. Extra XP gained per day of navigation, which sounds all right. Um, I was going to do strong, plus two damage against uh, sea creatures, but yeah, you know what? We're going to go open-minded. We're an open-minded kind of uh, hunter. I hate tutorial, didn't I? Uh, I'm going to skip that. All right, so welcome to Nantucket. We are a, uh, a captain looking for a crew. We have a ship. We have a... They call the, Mel the Melville a rotten sloop. Rotten, I assume, means fantastic. I'm sure that's what it is. We have uh, we have some hammocks on here. We've got a we've got some harpoons. We have a wheel, and we also have a, a hold for storing all of our junk. We will be picking up. You can see our stats over here. Uh, eventually, we can go and start making and, and buying new ships once we get some money. But we don't have enough money for that yet. And first off, we're gonna be spending our money on crewmen. We got several different uh, uh, types of crew we can do here. We have cabin boys. They sort of just do the general things about the ship. They kind of help, you know, things like keeping the morale better. That's sort of what they do on the ship. We also have harpooners. These are the folks that do all of the fighting. Like that's what that's what we do. We are the hunter. So when we're out there with a whale, we we are the ones going to be out there poking and prodding and whatever we do with whales. Uh, we have a prestige level here, which is four right now. This is sort of um, ex. Well, that, that number explains how good of a crewman we can hire. In time, that will go up. We can get better crewmen and, um, by doing missions and things like that. Uh, we also, so we got harpooners. We also have uh, uh, navigators. We have craftsmen as well. You can see, well, plus one hull recovered per day. That's pretty good, Clayton. But you are a solitary. Plus, minus one morale per crew member on the ship. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We don't need morale. So we're going to bring him along so he can go fix some things up. We also have uh, scientists. And so, like, Rufus here. What do you do, Rufus? Rufus does nothing. Francis, nothing. Alfred, no. Anybody do anything? Anybody do anything? No, nobody does anything. But they do have some skills here, so, like, they can do plus 10 per extent experience gained by killing sea creatures. Uh, get get water option. I don't know what that means. And cards threatening the players well are played face. Uh, we'll see the combat in time. Um, where well, you guys will help us out. They're more of a utility class, obviously. So I suppose we've got a, an engineer. We need some somebody to sail this ship. So we can bring in someone like we got Silas, we got Everett. So you give me extra field of view. Everett gives me field of view as well and sailing speed. Silas gives me the same thing. I can't hire Dave. Sadly, we need a Dave on this ship. Uh, can I change your name? I can't. So Silas Sailor is a good swimmer, and he gives us oh, minus ten percent merchant and shipwright buy prices. I like that. And he also is a good field of view and a sailing speed guy. Sure, come along, Silas. Um, we could bring another harpooner along with us, or maybe just a cabin boy to maybe help out the, mor the, the morale here. What do we have here? Willis. 
plus two uh, morale per crew member with different nationality. Interesting. Uh, Jonathan, what's your problem? Seasick. Well, you're not on my ship. And we have a slop eater, and nobody's really any good here. Um, we could bring another hunter in, I suppose. I mean, that won't hurt anything. Minus food consumption, that's always a good one. Yeah, Nathan here is strong. Plus two damage against... Yeah, come on along, Nathan. Let's go. So we can eventually drop these guys off. We can bring new ones on, which we may do in time, but they will level up as we do out. We do some fighting and things. They will they will gain levels, and we can make them cooler and give them traits and all of that. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Now, last thing we can do here is... Well, two more things. We can go talk to the paper boy. This is going to give us a, a paper, a, a, I guess a monthly paper. It gives us news around the world, which doesn't really matter too much, but there's a job section in this paper, and this is going to give us ideas of what we need to be doing, goals, quests. Uh, we can go discover a new whaling area. Sure, we'll do that. We got new uh, presence of large, quanti large quantities of whales in Baffin Bay. Let's go find them and see about that. We also unveil the Rose's destiny. The Rose was declared lost lo uh, days ago, and her destiny is shrouded in mystery. She was traveling from Nantucket to Cape Town, so you never reach her destination. Explore the route she took and locate her ship and crew. Sure, we can go do that. We gain a bit of prestige, and we also gain some cash. All the more important cash. Now, over at the general store, we got to fill up our ship. Right, we have our, our, our rotten sloop needs things like water. You can see how long we can go out to sea with this with us. So we're going to load up here. I'm going to bring in um, 76 days. Yeah, that'll probably be good. I don't see us being out that much longer than that. So we'll run up to the Baffin Bay, find some whales. Maybe we'll head down to Cape Town. Uh, we'll see, maybe, maybe. So let's let's sail away. And we'll actually get onto the proper game board here. So we're in Nantucket. And we're going to go sailing up north to Baffin Bay, find some whales, hopefully, and stab them, and take their blubber, and then sail it, sell it, for uh, some oil. I guess in time we can actually get the ability to, to, uh, um, what am I trying to say? Turn the blubber into oil on our ship, which I guess will give us more prices, but we don't have that ability on our ship just yet, because we don't have much of a ship just yet. Um, we have, here's our quarter deck, who's being manned by Clayton. We've got, we can change this stuff around if we wanted to. Silas is going to be running our, our, he's in the hold, doing what he does in the hold. And I'm in the hammock, like I should be. Uh, nobody is here. Nathan, can I put you here? Oh, Nathan's up on top, on the crow's nest. Okay, good spot for you, Nathan. Now, uh, he has hit points. This is all something we'll, we'll see in time. You can see our storage right here. Uh, our terrible ship. We are, we're sailing leeward. No, we're not. We're sitting in port. Uh, okay, anything else? I think that probably about covers it. Let's go sail. What's this? I have a quest. Yes, we have a quest to go here. So let's go ahead. We also had to unveil the Rose's Destiny. So here's the game board. Uh, we are here in Nantucket, as I mentioned before. We want to go down south to Cape Town to go find where the Rose went. We also need to go up here to find some whales. Let's go do this one real quick, just to, uh, you know, a quick jaunt up to Greenland here and figure out what's going on. We can see the, the, the windward, the wind, prevailing winds. So we can sort of adjust our course accordingly if we want to go something like that you know if you, you can just go straight if you wanted to but that's not cool let's, let's go in a straight strange direction in the days after your last harbor visit like one day you notice that one of your crew members starts to look tired and sickly you know look well is everything okay well there's 25 percent chance syphilis 25 percent chance malaria just tired nothing to worry about good we've only left it's been like six hours you better not have malaria uh finn ahoy your your yells as he spots a fin in the distance. Well done, Nathan. It could be a precious whale. Lower the whale boats and lead the hunt. All right, so this is the combat part of the game. It's going to be us, sort of card-based kind of thing. We've got myself on the boat. We're hopping on the rope on the rowboats, right? We get on the rowboats, we have our harpoons, and we go out, we go to the whale, and we try to stab it and kill it and bring it in. We can also bring, we can fill this thing up with three people. We got myself. We can bring in Silas. He's got a lot of hit points. He also has some two different ways of, of rolling here. Some protective maneuvers or some stabbing maneuvers. We gotta bring Nathan in, of course. Um, but you can see they have two different options of of rolling these dice. We'll see this as it as it gets in here. We'll bring Silas in. He found the thing. He gets the honor of, of looking for it. Um, now into combat. So we can we can change these dice to where they're either going for a combat move or maybe they're going for a sort of utility move. Uh, I could do that with uh, Silas here, but I thought oh here it is. So maybe we want to go with more a protective. Like say it's a dangerous whale so we can switch over him to be more of a healer kind of class or more of a utility kind of class. So we have come across a newborn narwhal, the most dangerous of whales of the sea. Newborns, you never trust those newborns. And uh, we, you can see it's rolling a d6. 
and we're trying to get the harpoon poke actions, but we fail on all three of those. The, 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 the nemesis of the sea just stabbed Nathan. Stabbed Nathan, and Nathan is now bleeding because he got a, a newborn spike in his chest. Let's roll again. Come on, somebody hit the thing. Uh, he's stunned because he's all scared. Well, don't stab me. All right, this is not going well. Come on, somebody just stab the baby. Clear water is no effect. You can see there's a random comma. Every round is a new, a new uh, random thing that happens that can affect our abilities. Apparently, clear skies is not what good for us. There we go. Nathan, Ishnook, Silas missed, but us two both hit. So he's only got three hit points. We did nine damage. So wabam, the uh, the terrible, terrible newborn narwhal is dead. They all turned fin up. The agitated waters royal wed with red with blood, and then they finally fall silent. You raise your arm, and the men's victory cries surround you. Well done. We only took a little bit of bleed, and there's blood. I don't know whose blood that was. Might have been ours. We gained some uh, two things, two barrels of blubber on our ship. Now we also gained one barrel of food as well, because we're going to eat that whale. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's that's combat. We haven't even made it all the way to our destination. We're just outside Nantucket here. We're, well, we're just outside, I guess, east of Nova Scotia, I suppose. But we're still going to go ahead and keep on sailing up here. We ain't done yet. So let's move. There she blows. Another fin. And we are singing. We're whalers of the moon. All right, we got another one. Who is it? We're bringing on Ishnook again. Uh, Silas again. Nathan, why don't you have it? Um, can you fight? Nathan's going to be more likely to hit. Yeah, bring him in, Nathan. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Oh, it's another terrible newborn narwhal. As you get more prestige and a better crew, I guess I'm assuming the whales get stronger. I haven't played much more than the beginnings of the game, so I haven't seen anything terrible come at me again. Uh, Ishnook, this one's all yours, buddy. There you go. He didn't even get to try to, to stab us. We're getting good at killing whales now. Okay. Take your two blubber, your one meat, and keep on sailing off to our destination here. And it's a bit of a storm going on here. We're shoulder to shoulder uh, with one of your men. You notice he's a very solitary man. He prefers to be alone after his shifts and only speaks of his shipmates if it is necessary to perform some task. So we can spend some time with the guy, and you can try to encourage him to be more sociable. So there's a chance we give him solitary, and there's a chance... I get solitary. So there's a chance that Clayton, like, convinces me to be a loner, or I just stay out of it. None of my business. Yeah, none of my business. Yeah, my men don't care. Why should I? Excellent point of view. All right, we're sailing in. Fin Ahoy. Oh, here we go. We got another one. Yes, let's get him. Now, we can make it easy. We can just, we can do auto-deploy. Well, what kind of captain would we be if we did auto -deploy? We're going to go uh, last use to bring everyone else back in here. Silas, bring out your, uh, Bring out your uh, your harpoon, buddy. Another newborn narwhal. The deadliest of the sea whales. Oh, my. Uh, Nathan, you're not feeling too good. You know what? You deserve one. There you go, buddy. He did more damage because he is strong. You can see we both do more. Uh, I'm strong, and so is... I think... Am I strong? No, I didn't. I did, what did I do? I did something different. I did the XP one. Um, but uh, because he's strong, he does more damage. All right. Um, so we're here, right? Oh, we got one more day to get there. Are we here? Let's uh, drop the anchor? No, we don't want to do that. We're waiting here. Is the quest done? Oh, yeah, okay, it's done. It's done. So, check the reported area. Confirm the presence of whales. We got one. Return to Nantucket for your reward. Let's go ahead and do that. 15 days back to Nantucket. How's our supplies doing? Looks like we have... I think we're doing fine. We've got plenty of... Where is it? Yeah, we got plenty here. We can we can ration our supplies if we want to, but we don't need to do that. What is this? We can create a safe dock in. I missed that. Uh, no, 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 no. You go away. We've arrived in Nantucket. Enter the harbor. Welcome back to Nantucket. We have uh, sold all the blubber we picked up. We got six barrels of blubber while we were out. We made one hundred thirty-seven dollars. We get one hundred twenty-six of that. We give eleven to our measly crew. And welcome back to the harbor. Now we can come in here. We can hire different people if we want. Our prestige is now seven, as you notice. So we've gotten better. We can hire a better person. We can hire Dave. We can hire Dave. Uh, Dave is terrible. Dave's closed-minded. Dave is also a slop eater. Minus morale effect for the food. Uh, maybe we don't want you, Dave. Maybe, we, you know what? Well, Silas is fine. We like that guy. All right. Uh, we can sell some things if we want. We could probably dump off. We're going to go to Cape Town. So it's a bit of a drive. A bit of a sale. 
So let me bring on some of that and bring on a bit more water. We probably don't need the food. We can sell this stuff. You can see the prices here. This is 18 each. It changes over time. Each city also that you may go to, that will change as well. It's a, you know, tycoon kind of thing. Um, let's go with something like that. Look at this. 80 days out there at sea. I think that'll be plenty, I think. We can read the paper. Is there anything else new here? Uh, we can grab our reward, of course. There's 200 bucks right there for doing that one. We still have to find the rose. We got 52 days away to sail there. We're going to go do that right now. This changes also. It's now February. We can find uh, Edward Bransfield lands in Terra Australis. And uh, someone was trying to be murdered. And uh, independence in Valdivia. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready to go. So let's sail. We can check on our ship. We can do some upgrades here. Actually, we haven't done this yet. Uh, we have all these different things that our ship has. Things like uh, our sails. We make our sails better. We can make uh, our shelving better. More cargo space. Uh, we have to have... A lot of these have to have requirements. For instance, if we wanted to, to incru, uh, increase our surgical kit, we would have to have a man that has the sick bay skill as a crewman. And then we'd be allowed to do that. 100 bucks and so many days, we could make that better on our ship. We're going to go ahead and grab... I think the harpoons gives us extra damage. Does that seem reasonable? Can I do one that does, like, speed? Yeah, plus 8% sailing speed. Or 8% cargo speed. That's a good one. Let's do that one. Takes us 90 days and 200 bucks. Okay, yeah, thanks. Um, and then we will have, so on May 3rd, we will have more cargo space on our ship. We'll figure out how to do it. Okay, so we're going to make our rotten sloop into a fine sloop. Now, let's go to Cape Town and go find ourselves a missing ship. So yeah, this one is it's set to come out on January 18th. I don't know if it's supposed to be early access. Let me look. It doesn't say it's going to be early access. I don't know that, it, I don't think it is. The email I got didn't say it was either, so... I'm going to assume it's not. Uh, let me go ahead and sail on down to Cape Town here. We're going to follow the same route as the Rose and uh, sail away. Our mission here, we can see this Unveil the Rose's Destiny. Uh, this one up here, Rise from the Ranks. So this is when you start to get the main quest chain. This is the, like, I guess the quest chain to, Mo to Moby Dick. Uh, once we hit Prestige level 25, then we can do that. We should watch out for that storm. Um, then we can start moving into the, the main quest chain. But for now, we have to sort of, you know, do the do the... Pick up the scraps, find the rose, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so we'll continue on sailing down here and find uh, the rose. There's more cities we'll come across later on. Walking to your cabin, you notice one of the men surveying some papers. As he notices you, he holds up some old maps. Captain, during our last stop, I won these old maps playing dice. They show the location of a hidden treasure that belonged to the private, uh, the pirate Raveno de la Somme. Should we claim it for ourselves? What do you think? Of course we should go. Why did you hold it for so long? The sailors erupt in an uproarious loud laughter. We're going to be rich. Rich. Okay, Nathan has a quest to complete. Okay, uh, hang on. Nathan, where's his quest at? Forget the rose. Where is it at? Way over there! How long is it? 77 days. I don't have enough food and water for this. We can stop here in Imbituba. You can see the prices there. I don't know how we know about the prices, but we're going to stop here, I guess. Pick up a bit more water, and then sail over there and find some treasure. Nathan, you better be right about this. We're hosing the rose. Because we're going to get rich. <laughs> uh, working shoulder by shoulder. One of my men is... Can we read his incredible strength? He can swim in the deepest oceans and in unfriendly weather conditions. So we can try to... Oh, we can... We can 80% chance I will become a swimmer myself. Yeah. You struggled in the beginning. But day by day, I felt like a stronger swimmer. There we go. We got a new swimmer trait. Excellent. Captain Ishnook is just a little bit better than he was before. What is this? You could create a safe dock in this area to hunt for food, search for water, and chop wood. Ah, look at that. Okay, I hadn't noticed that before. Because we're near the land, we can we can fill our, our cargo hole a bit, I guess. I get. I guess. Um, we're a little bit late because we're stuck here in a storm. What's going on? All right, enter the harbor. All right, so welcome to South America. No trades. We have nothing to sell here. We have a new new, new paper. We want Maine's a new uh, state of the U.S. Stephen Decatur's been killed. Uh, someone's been, been hijacking another ship. Dang, pirates with no jobs here. Uh, really, the only reason we're here is to pick up a bit more water is the big problem. Food's not so much. We can probably find some more whales. But I do want to go ahead and tack that on it. We're going to be rich in a minute, right? So let's load up. We carry wood because it sort of fixes up the ship. It's for maintenance. Grog keeps us, I think, happy. I don't really say what Grog does. Yeah, morale bonus. Uh, we got food and, and water. We know those do. Let's grab a little bit more. So we're going to have to sail back, don't we? There we go. 120 days worth of rock. No, there we go. That'll work fine. Okay. Let's continue back. We're going to go around the Cape of Good Hope. 
All right, take that to one. Keep of uh, Tierra del Fuego, whatever it is, down there in South America. And head to go find ourselves some treasure. And there better be treasure. Because if there isn't, Ishnook kicks you off the ship. You got it? Over here and then to here. 56 days to head here. We can head over to New Zealand if we want. Um, there's a town there, so we can stop in a town and uh, refuel, I suppose. We'll head around this way, hopefully avoid some of these rocks. Isn't this like a really dangerous spot in uh, in history? Oh, there's a big whirlpool there. Yeah, let's watch out for that. Dangers on the sea. We can see these legend up here. So let's make our way over here this way. I wish there was a, a faster speed. We got 3x, but it just ain't fast enough. Alright, where is this treasure? You set sail close to the destination marked on a crew member's treasure map. His unabashed excitement reveals that he expects you to do investigate the area. Well, yeah, of course. Following the map's instructions, you reach a rocky area of the coastline. The blot of the thing, yes. So you sail along close, checking your surroundings with your spyglass, looking for any useful signs. A few after a few passes, you finally notice a trapdoor hidden under some bushes. You're not sure if it is one of the one of Ravenu de Lasson's hideouts, but it's the only sign of human activity in the area. Yeah, lead your men, yes. Lower the well boat and lead your men to the coast. Once there, you open the hidden trapdoor and enter the passage. Trapdoor hid a passage dug inside the rocky coastline long ago. The salt covering the walls and the rotten torches on them show the sea has flooded uh, the passage. And nobody has been there for years. You started, you start feeling confident that this could be an old pirate hideout. Let's see. You light a torch. Lead your men down the passage. Passage leads to an old wooden door marked with Raveno de Lasson's coat of arms. Your crew member's map was right about the pirate hideout. And now you hope to be the man, first man to reach it. Open the door. See what's behind it. Open the door. Tricking a mechanism behind it. You hear an explosion. And then the treasure's... Chambers, roofs, caves in. Before the room collapsed, you had a small, sad glimpse of Amaro Pargo's hidden treasure hoard. Oh, no. D dig it out, then. There's treasure there. Just dig it out, then. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, Rose. Oh, man. All right. Well, I think it's probably a good place to call it a day here. Let's, uh, you can see, ooh, prices are going good here. Let's sail on over here to, uh, what is it, Cora, Cora, whatever it is. How do you say that? Um, we're going to sail over there to New Zealand, and uh, we'll dock here. We did get a mention here with a new technology in Nantucket. I don't know what that is. Uh, technology hold researched. Oh, the hold, right. We were, we were researching the hold, and our supplies are a bit down. We're going to run our grog in two days. Well, luckily we're here in New Zealand, and we can pick up some good grog. Um, and there we go. No money here. We are out of things. We are, we're pretty low on lots of things. We're going to have to do some, some buying and things. Um, but, yeah, so that is that is the game, Nantucket. It'll be available here in about, uh, what is today? In about 10 days, it will be available. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.